Pins, head of corporate development and strategy. It's great to have you. You know the company well. From what you know of Bill Reddy, is he the right person to take on this job? Absolutely. Actually, I backed Bill uh, when he uh, was at Braintree, uh, and then Braintree ended up buying Venmo, and then we supported uh, a separate deal into Braintree and Venmo. He's a terrific operator, very well respected, uh, has a nose for deals. Uh, he was the really the architect that helped us uh, sell the Braintree Venmo business to PayPal. And then at PayPal, you saw them being very inquisitive with Honey and IZettel and other deals. So I think he's going to have a, a great nose for business, great nose for deals. He's going to be um, very revenue minded. Uh, and he's an experienced operator between uh, having scaled Braintree, having uh, worked at PayPal and become COO, and then now having run Google, Google's commerce business for the past couple of years. I think he's a great fit for the business at, at Pinterest. Uh, Cameron, one of the first things you just said about him is that he has a great nose for deals. Does Pinterest need to do a deal? Of course, there was a speculation about PayPal, but do you think that his strategy will include either doing deals or selling Pinterest? I'm not sure about selling Pinterest, but certainly the company could be more acquisitive. They just bought a company called The Yes, uh, an AI-driven shopping platform. Uh, but they've been relatively quiet on the M&A front in the past couple of years. Uh, and of course, now they have both cash and stock to use for deals and you know, valuations have come down. So it may be in a place where they could be acquisitive or certainly more aggressive on that front because they haven't been. But I think moreover, I think Bill is going to come in and really try to drive the commerce part of the business to really try to take the business away from just search and discovery to actually executing on the shopping uh, vision of, of what the, uh, you know, the Pinterest platform could really be. I think that's really kind of his uh, focus and from PayPal and from Google having run the commerce business. I think that's his background as well. Cameron, here's my question no matter who's running Pinterest in the next phase, Pinterest isn't growing, right? Um, and revenue has slowed way down. And to me, the entire social media thesis is, is sort of broken, whether you're looking at Meta or Snap or Twitter or Pinterest. Uh, they're all trading about where they were, I don't know, when, when Pinterest went public uh, in, in early 2019. So now there's a problem, a challenge with first-party data being particularly important, with attribution being particularly important, with the rules around targeting changing, how can Pinterest both grow and solve those problems in a new way? Isn't that the fundamental issue? So Pinterest growth, I mean, the, the company did grow during COVID because of you know, a lot of users that came on the platform to try it. I think those users have faded away in the last kind of 18 months. Um, but they are still growing revenue quite a bit, and they're growing actually the bottom line quite a bit. I think the, the company is quite um, profitable, and you know I think had $77 million of adjusted EBIT that last quarter. And I expect to see that continue because the company is frankly pretty high margin. Um, but uh, the question you asked about social, I mean, look, Pinterest is very different than Twitter and Snapchat and some of these other platforms. It's not a one-to-one -one use case where someone's going to use Snapchat or, or Pinterest. Pinterest is not there for messaging, not there to look at photos of friends and family, not there to look at for updates on celebrities. So it's really much more about search and discovery. It's much more akin to what you might do on Google or maybe even on Amazon. And so it's a bit of a different animal than those other companies you mentioned. And frankly, you know, all the stocks in the tech sector are down quite a bit uh, in the last, you know, certainly six, nine months. So, um, you know, I think the, the question is going to be, can Pinterest grow the top line and the bottom line without necessarily growing users? Because user growth has flatlined at about 430 million or so now globally.